subject evs1 standard 4 hello students my name is shruti nanavre before we begin with our new lesson i would like to ask you a few things about our environment so think and answer in your mind look at this picture one is a plastic bags and other is a cloth bags now which one should we use yes the cloth bags in this picture a boy is throwing garbage in the dustbin while in the other picture you can see the garbage is being thrown into the river now think and tell me which is the right thing to do yes we must throw it in the dustbin and in this picture children are planting trees while in the other picture a man is cutting a tree yes you all are smart children you know that planting trees is the right thing to do in the following pictures that is using plastic bag throwing garbage in the river and cutting the trees are harmful for our environment so my dear children today we are going to learn a new lesson that is are we endangering our environment part 1 here you can see two pictures one is of 20 years ago and the other one is of the same place but how it looks today that is at present now what's the difference do you see in these pictures look carefully my dear children the picture that is taken 20 years ago shows us a beautiful open field a big tree and a railway track but today in the same place yes of course the railway track is still there but there are no trees or no plants it's only buildings and roads now let us see the progress made by human beings a man is more intelligent than all other animals now that you saw in the last lesson how he invented the wheel to make his life more comfortable he makes use of his intelligence that is he keeps on making new inventions like fridge microwave ac sewing machine iron fridge etc now all living things that is birds animals and insects all these make use of water they find in their environment but it is only man who can carefully study the things in the environment and produce new things now let us see how fuel 150 years ago researchers found from the environment mineral oil and also how to use it so man got this new fuel to use due to which he invented vehicles that would run on this like car bus truck scooter etc he also developed railway engines that would run on coal 
How did man travel? In olden days when there were no vehicles, how did man travel from one village to another? Think dear children, in those days if he had to travel from one village to another village, he had to walk, ride on a horseback or bullock cart. Various animals were used to carry burdens or to draw carts. Roads and railways were built for transportation. So now we can travel by bus, trains and many other modes of transport. This helps us to save both the time and labor. Water the next thing that man is using from the environment is water. We all need water to live. Dear children, you all know the various sources of water. That is well, rain, stream, river, lakes, etc. Water is also used in factories. Now factories are set up to manufacture the things we need. But do you know the wastewater from these places are lent into the rivers which pollutes that is it makes the river water dirty. In this way the environment is harmed that causes the harmful effects on all living things of population. Population means people. A census was done in 1951 and then in 2011. What was the population of our country? Now, census means the counting of people or the population. The population of our country is three times than what it was 60 years ago and it is still growing due to which the demand of all the things are also increasing. Crowding of cities People began to move to the cities as they could not get jobs that is work in villages. So the population in the cities began to grow and started getting crowded. Now, because of this, there was not enough houses for everybody to stay. Cutting of trees People have started using the fields and cutting down the trees, whereas to make space to build new houses. Due to which now there are not much trees in the cities. But other than us human beings, birds also need trees to build their nests. The trees have vanished from the cities. So the birds do not find places to build their nests. Pollution in cities, one has to travel to long distances to get to work. So people began to buy vehicles. Now, these vehicles run on fuels that let out so much of smoke. This smoke mixes with the air. And people breathe this polluted air. As a result, people are having breathing problems like asthma and other lung disorders. Due to the smoke, even the birds are facing a lot of problems due to which you see very few birds in the cities. The number of butterflies and insects are also reducing. Shortage of water Now, because of so many people, cities began to experience shortage of water. 
This is because more the number of people, the more the usage of water. Even birds and animals are no longer sure of getting water when they are thirsty. Drainage system There is an increase in the number of houses due to the increasing population. But in the cities, the drainage system, that is the waste water from our houses fails which means it gets collected or does not flow out properly. Because of which it gets collected in places where people are living. Yes, you must have seen in some places dirty water is being collected. Now, mosquitoes grow in it and they spread diseases like malaria, dengue, chikungunya, etc. This shows we are not taking care of our environment. Groundwater is drying up. Now, increase in population is causing scarcity of water. Means as a number of people are increasing the usage of water, from the lakes, rivers, ponds, etc. are also increasing. Due to which the water is getting over, so people are now using groundwater. But now even the groundwater is drying up. Let us see how. So students, we will study the remaining lesson in the next part. Till then, keep learning and stay safe. Thank you.